Hello and welcome to my RTSL game versus VG Cookie, which is Chris Xu. I hope that's how we are supposed to pronounce it. I will be playing as the United States of America, and well, let's see what we get. Middle East scoring is something to smile about. Mm, nuclear test ban is something to smile about. The Korean War is decent. Our... Whoa! We have played against each other many times. The head-to-head the -head score is slightly favorable towards him. Uh, I think... I will just go for the standard setup and go for Middle East. All right. Yeah, I think I will try to uh get rid of Korean War as soon as possible. Well, alright, so that's a really strong headline on his part, but it doesn't really destroy any of my plans. I got away with Middle East scoring for 4 points. I hope I will be able to get away with Europe domination for another 5 points. Would be great. He's probably going to just spread in Thailand and Laos. And I guess... Unfortunate. And I guess I can use this opportunity to go for Korean War immediately. Um, yeah, let's do that. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So, let's fight for Korea. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Arab Israeli war is certainly not playable for as long as I uh, don't uh, for as long as my only presence around Israel is in Israel. I have to capture Lebanon at some point, despite Middle East being scored. So I think that's a good use of my. Uh, of my bonus influence point from nuclear test ban, which would go free to France and one to Lebanon. But that basically gives up South Korea if I do it now. Another way to do it is to just put all the influence from nuclear test ban into South Korea, but that's probably not. Yeah, that's just a bad idea. So South Korea in this situation doesn't even grant me anything special in Asia. It just makes his domination a little bit less of a painful domination, which doesn't change much. I, I can't afford fighting for South Korea. So Asia is pretty much gone. I don't see a way to go back there. And that's another good free up in his hand. He's much richer than me. Unfortunately, at least I get to drop Europe for five, so it's not as bad as it could have been. Oh, but on the other hand, is pretty painful. Um, okay, so all scorings are gone, and the score is even. Mm -hmm. 
I have zero military operation points. So it would be great to get some. Okay, let's start by grabbing Egypt with Arab Israeli War. It's not only uh, the matter of. of lowering the chances of Arab Israeli war being lost for me, but it's also just the fact that I want to put at least two influence points into Egypt before Nasser is played. Theoretically, he could still have Nasser in his hand, that wouldn't even be weird. And last two turns, I mean, last two ARs will be probably spent cooling. Laos is a obvious target. I also could go out from Iran, for example, to Pakistan, but it's kind of risky. Especially while death count is high, and I don't know where the Indo Pakistani war is. And also, it doesn't grant me any military operation points. What changes it though? I mean, or does it? Uh, now it's a tougher choice. Now I really have to go, and I don't have a better target than last. Three is not a lot, but well, it's the bare minimum I was hoping for. It grants me, or at least temporarily, grants me laws. And well, if he spends a whole turn queen laws, then it's good for me anyway. Okay. Containment, sure. So I'm definitely going to give him Fidel for that. The question is, do I coup Thailand or do I coup Iran? That's the only thing I'm wondering. So, to get something good out of Iran... No, I think I have to coup Thailand. Okay. That's good enough. He really has to make a decision. That's an annoying hand. It has no good headlines. Uh, it doesn't have perch, so there's a good chance I will get perched. It has no four ups again. It has no D cards. It's just a bad hand once more. The question here is, is duck and cover favoring me or him? And honest to god I think it's favoring him. Or is it? Yeah, I think playing Olympic games is better. Ugh, yuck. So now it's not as easy for him to just secure Thailand. It would be much easier if... Uh... Okay, he's going to do it anyway, it seems. Alright. Now let me think through that. Alright, so of course uh, African battlegrounds are juicy targets for coup. 
but I think I may start with Thailand. Fuck! Well, so the idea, of course, was that if I managed to broke his um, Thailand control, it would have been enough to um, force him to respond there. And if he did that, then I could calmly just cool Nigeria or something like that. But unfortunately, I rolled a 1, while I needed at least a 3. So, well, it's just a back. So, now we have to answer the Pakistan question. Which is, do I just go to Pakistan and hope that he doesn't have in the Pakistani war? Or if he does, he doesn't win it? I, I think I just have to take the risk here. I mean, it's not like I'm desperate for it, but there is so much to gain. And like, it's like 50-50 that he has it, and it's another 50-50 if he wins it. So it's like 75% chance, statistically speaking, that I will not lose Pakistan. See? Maths always in your favor. Okay, that was stressful but I didn't deserve to lose this war so justice won this time let's say mm. now when in the Pakistani war is gone it is crucial to overprotect Pakistan my other targets are Libya and India let's think for a second they're always uh, also Algeria and Panama uh, when it comes to important targets. I will be playing... Well, it depends on the status of blockade. Well, if he doesn't have blockade, I will be playing Socialists to Space and Six Ops other than that. So I will be able to do everything anyway. And if he does have blockade, I will be playing 7-ups. So it will be enough for like India, Libya, Pakistan over protection and one additional to Panama for example. Okay, now let's go to Libya. thing. Now we can take Libya and India. And let's check. He has blockade, but he's not going to uh, event it. So we can space socialists. Alright, mm. I'm not amused by the fact that he got the purge, that's for sure. I'm not amused by the fact that he got distal, and he got UN, and I got CIA. That's not really... Um, something to be proud of. In theory he doesn't have to have anything that breaks Europe. He has a good perch headline. He has defectors, which is another annoying thing, so he is sure that his perch will have its effect. So I think I'm just going to meet his perch with Europe. There is like nothing that can go wrong. Uh, unless it's safer to have a list. No. I have Nasser. But, and he will probably cook Panama, right? Well, I'm not sure about that last part, so I will just go for Europe. Well, 
headline piece though, which is interesting. Okay, so I guess he just wants to use the Purge influence to fill up the countries he gets to um, with Distal, which is reasonable. That's by the way... Oh no, actually that's not. Never mind. You run with what? With Norad. Panama probably, right? Yep. And that's six, of course. Mm -hmm. Well... That sucks, but there's nothing I can do. Let's just take Mexico. I guess I just will hope to get some access cards. Well, no, access is not enough. I will need some big game changers like Junta, ABM and Brashwar to get back to the fight for South America and Africa by the way as well. Hey, he's just taking over everything there. Mm -hmm. The question is, I hope Israeli war is gone, so... Well, okay, that doesn't change much. The question is, do I fight for Middle Eastern domination? I think I could. It's not like I have more ops than he does, but sure as hell he has more places to put them into. So I think I may just go for Israel. I'm not sure if I wanted to do it now, though. I think I can just start by calmly advancing in Africa. If I bait him to use Red Scar Purge, for example, to capture South Africa or something like that, then it will be easier for me to get Middle Eastern domination. I don't think it will happen, but, well, there's certainly a chance. Really? Okay. Jesus Christ, and he went for Saudi Arabia. Uh, well, okay, in this situation there is nothing to talk about. Just It's just too rich for me to uh, fight for Middle Eastern domination. I will just grab additional points uh, by capturing Israel and well, score Middle East for zero in a moment. The good thing is that I know all his cars. It's Defectors, Romanian Abdication and Purge. It's, I'm curious if he will try to hold Purge and play China card. Maybe I should think about overprotecting Japan, but that would be kind of weird. Usually. The difference between playing Purge for Ops and playing it as a headline is not huge enough to bait someone into using the China card when they don't need to do that. Further overprotecting Japan is definitely something I could do anyway. Okay, he just grabs all that, that's fine. Yeah, I will do exactly what I said I would. Then score Middle East, and then 
figure out what to do with my life. I think if he doesn't play into South Africa more, I think I will just play Nasser for one of her. But I think he will end it now. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. It's always risky to fight for it as US. Mm, so now I will scrum at least. Alright, and now I can enter Guatemala so that he is not... Oh, or actually will I? I think I can get something better. So the idea is that the obvious coup target on this map is Mexico, so I wanted to go to Guatemala so that if he goes Mexico uh, on the next turn, I can realign him out of there. But of course, then his answer would be just cooing Algeria and doing exactly the same thing. So I will just enter both Saharan states and Guatemala and equalize the score in South Africa. And, well, the price for that is that if he has Che, he doesn't. But if he has Che, he could use that uh, as a response. However, since he didn't get it, doesn't matter as much. That's a mediocre hand with some potential. The question is do I go for Missile Envy and try to get lucky? Or do I go for Panama Canal and try to get Venezuela with force? If he enters Colombia, I don't have many good cards to cool. Which is really unfortunate. Muslim Rev is unplayable. Chai and Suez are quite bad. Mm. Getting something juicy with Miss Lenvy would be would be really nice. But then Panama Canal is not as strong later on. And I can always use Miss Lenvy in the middle of the turn. Risking getting ducked. Not nice. That's an important choice. That's an important decision to make. And I have Muslim Revolution, which is like the best card to pull out of Miss Landy. Hmm. In theory, I could give him Suez, Middle East and Europe, I are both scored. Alliance for Progress will be played for us, that's for sure, just as, just as shuttle diplomacy. On the other hand, If I get something good with Miss Lenvy, I can turn South America around anyway. And deny him a coup. But does he have any good coup targets? Well, if he gets Algeria, that's annoying for sure. I would just toss a, toss a coin. If it's heads, then it's Missile MP. If it's tails, it's Panama Canal.
it's heads, so I think it was missile envy. Quag. All right. Okay, so it was a good choice. I mean, I don't know if it was a good strategical decision, but it turned out to be a better one in this particular scenario. Now let's see what we get. I have some very good cards to discard to Quagmire, so I'm not going to cry about that. Let me and be both. Ah, oh, that's not the best thing I could get as well. Yeah, 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 I know. Well, it's not the worst either. It's fine. Um. Let's start with Muslim Ref. There's no scenario in which I am playing that. I suspect he might immediately coup something. And the question is do I want to give him another coup with Che? Uh, and take advantage of the fact that he will have only one coup there. I don't think so, I don't think so. I, I don't think I'm giving him Cha anyway. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, I guess. That doesn't take away Mexico. I don't need to overprotect that just yet. Let's start with Philippines, because Southeast Asia is yet to be scarred. However, that junta is quite annoying. Good for me that he didn't headline it, though. I think that was a mistake on his part. Especially when I know for a fact he didn't have Purge. If he had Purge, then... No, if he had Purge, he... Yeah, 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 whatever. We knew he wouldn't have it, so... Well, he just tries to completely devaluate Chan. Which is fine. If you ask me. Mm. Do I take Nigeria over with Alliance for Progress? <laughs> Paradoxically, the fact that he rolled exactly a 1 with his lone gunman is pretty, pretty damn annoying. It's literally the only score that... Uh, doesn't enable me to play chat freely. Okay, I think... Oh no, that's not... Hmm. Do I want to ops for him? I could also just space Suez. But that will, that will bait him to space as well. Whatever, let's see. Okay, it doesn't necessarily need to bait him into spacing as well because I failed. Alright. That's a suspicious move. Mm. Okay, I think I can fight for... Well, no, that's... That's a possibility, but I don't think that's the best target to do that to. I think if I am to overturn something which is probably reasonable in this situation, I think I should start with Nigeria. Summit. Please don't roll a 1. That's a 2, that's not a 1. So now I can play Chef. I hope he doesn't have blockade, but well. Now East Germany is not the most important country I can think of. 
Let's get my millops and see what he comes up with. Salt played for ops. Okay. Let's event the Pope. That's another we weird observation. He had Quagmire and he had Purge on the discard and he had Salt, but he didn't try pursuing the combo. Interesting. And let's go for Panama Canal on my last AR. Yeah. Hmm. There's certainly some crap that would be really appropriate to but it would be really appropriate to discard with ask not and I think I will have to do it I don't really want to play with another hand like that I mean it has three good cards but other than that it's pretty disgusting huh Yeah, and I think I will start with that. Of course he got ABM. What was I thinking? Can I at least like get a brush war with this Kennedy? I'm going to draw another hand. I should get something. Sure. Yeah, I think I will just get rid of everything except arms race and flower power. Uh, do I get rid of how I learned as well? Yeah, I probably do. Why not? <laughs> and I got age. Jesus. Well, to be fair, other cards that I got are not bad, certainly, but it's still really annoying. The question is, will he let me crew African Battleground just take Pakistan? Another thing, though, is that if I take Pakistan back, then he can just repair Venezuela and I can't really uh, go for Venezuela as much as I would love to because I got Asia so I will have to score it this turn so yeah it's bad either way oh so he can just fix everything with that he can take Pakistan take Venezuela don't let me go Africa fix Poland and screw me up oh and that's pretty fucking painful. Uh, what options do I get? Well, the most obvious one is to just bear trap him and pray to all the gods that he fails. How good is that? Well, it's like one third of a chance. If he gets out though, which is like two thirds of a chance, then it 
puts me in the really bad spot. In the really bad spot. I can't even threaten him in a, in a way to present him a choice. I can't access anywhere. I, I can't get access to any battleground. I mean, I c could get access to Zaire, but that doesn't really change anything. And like, all the good blue tulips are still in the game, and he probably like has 10 of them in his hand. So it's really, really inconvenient for me to be forced to bear trap him. I really don't like that. Huh. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see. Maybe he fails. Maybe he just fails. It sometimes happens. Maybe he will fail. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> he will just discard a good 2-op for free. That's all that will happen. Uh, yeah. Let's secure that, let's, let's take that, let's get presents in South America. Okay, that was, that was really bad for me. Okay, so East Asia gone. Uh, To get the draw in Asia and the Formosan shenanigans don't work, I would have to literally overturn at least one country. Okay. Uh, so I guess Asia is gone. There's probably no way for... Or you know what? <laughs> I mean... Okay, like, it doesn't hurt. I will just take Yusuri from... Uh, I will just take China with Yusuri from him. Mm, Cultural and Nixon now are both gone, so... Before the redraw, China is for sure mine. Maybe he doesn't overprotect Pakistan. Of course, it's kind of a silly way to play in general, to just hope that your opponent doesn't notice what you're doing, but people make mistakes and it's not a bad play itself. It's not a mistake to take the China card with you, sorry. So I, I can just do that anyway, and well, if he slips up, then it's a bonus for me. Pakistan and South Korea. Alright. He played it safe. Unfortunately, I have nothing to show for, my, for myself in Asia, so let's get rid of that. That ABM really hurts. Jesus. I hope he didn't get the brush work too. Are you serious? What the fuck is this? Uh, okay, so Africa is gone. Even if I overturn Angola, there is nothing for me there. I mean, there, uh, I, I would... The, probably the only card that would save Africa for me in a relatively short amount of time would be nuclear subs, which I didn't get, so that's on the table. The turn is approaching the end, and I have to get my middle somewhere, so I will just go for Haiti and start cooling stuff around Cuba. So in the long run, it may cause some problems to him. He 
in debates. He'd probably just cruise back. No, he goes for Colombia. He bails. Uh, okay. So let's check what he has to show against this. There's a there's like ten million blue tops in the deck still that accounted for. So I will just I I just I'm just hoping here that he doesn't have. For example, socialist governments. Unfortunately, it turns out that he does. I I just I will just probably just break it once more. Well, what can I do? I have to get something in South America to continue playing this game. Okay, that's another shitty hand. First, like, I mean, okay, it has grain sales. But that's basically all, and he has a bad scoring. The question of the day is, do I headline grain sales to, because it's like the obviously good headline choice, or do I go for South America because now I have a chance to score it for minus three only? I really don't want to give up on Africa. Uh, yeah, let's see what I get. Trash, yeah. Disgusting. Wait, really? What is this? Sure, keep it, I don't care. Uh, yeah, let's... Cool. Angola or Zaire, what's better? Let's go for Angola, I guess. Fucking blockade of all the cards I could get. It's like probably the single. Okay, it's not the single worst. Probably Deco would be worse. And maybe Africa scoring would be worse as well. But other than that, it's like the worst card I could get. Yeah, he just fixes Brazil now. And Zaire? Yeah, and Zaire, sure. Oh yeah, and he does that because he can, sure. Uh, Alright. I know he has forget and I have literally only one free of in my hand. So that's not good. I think I with hand this bad I think I should just try to waste his time in pointless coups in Africa. The real question is what happens to South America, because I literally see no way to do anything there. It's just dead lost. Maybe he gives me like OAS and tries some CG realignments and fails or something like that. That's like a scenario I, I can see happening. but. No, even that doesn't work because he has Brezhnev, so he, he can just fix the OAS damage with itself. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Threaten Zaire realignments, force him to cool. Okay, he used blockade for fat, so... So now, Warsaw Pact is... To be played. I will be venting that for sure. I need some huge turning point. That's not it, unfortunately, so yeah, that doesn't work either. I'm running out of options to play this game. 
I don't think it will last much longer. He probably has Africa. Or, okay, maybe I shouldn't be so sure. It's obvious that he's fighting for Africa regardless, but it's like 50% chance he has it. Uh... <laughs> okay. If he didn't have Brezhnev, I could try like forcing um, Brazil with China card, if nothing else. But with him having Brezhnev, he basically has answers to everything. So that doesn't help. Uh, okay, let's see if he's greedy. I, I will give him the Warsaw Pact and. Uh, Probably fix Algeria with it and break Brazil. So, if he has Africa. Well, so this is basically another instance of me just hoping that he fails, right? To see what's going on. So, my plan would be to do something like that. But it poses no threats whatsoever. The thing is that nothing poses any threats anymore. So do I have anything better to do? I could do some Hail Mary realignments, but that's just silly. Um, maybe, okay, so maybe I should at least try doing something like that. And if he doesn't have Africa, then... I can realign South, uh, South Africa before the end of the turn, and then, no, of course he has it, whatever. So that didn't work either. Mm -hmm. I will just go there and try realigning Brazil at minus one with China card. If he lets me, of course. I have no way to know. And he could Columbia. Alright, let's see. Yeah, he, he has Brezhnev once once again. He has Brezhnev, so forcing it with China card won't work. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So that worked, it temporarily keeps me in the game, however, it's hard to tell for, for how long that is. Special. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, you can break that. Who am I to disagree? Unfortunately, he got nuclear saps, as expected, so that won't work. So, he has will bury you, and I have UN with you too. I wonder if he'll have like that. He knows of 
Fatboys. Yeah, I have to go for Fatboys, I think. And he went for it. That's good for me. Yeah, let's capture Brazil immediately. Venezuela or Zaire? Venezuela. Really? Jesus Christ, he had that again. Ah! <sighs> sure. Well, I, I hope he doesn't have central. He has some cards to space, though, in the worst case scenario for him. So it's 50 50. Uh, let's overprotect Venezuela. U2 instant is now an unplayable card because I am at 90. Which is pretty scary. Fail. He failed. So I can take away his ability to do that once more. And then try it myself. Ironically enough, I will do that with you and uh, with you too, and not South African and the rest. Central, he would have scored it for 1 BP uh, or 2 BP, so that doesn't matter. He doesn't have it. I will just space that. That's useless. I know 4 out of his 5 cards, it's OAS, Nuclear, Subs, IMD, and Cambridge 5. Alright. Well. Alright. Uh, I would like to event what my men in Tehran. Can I do it though? I think I should cool. I have to get new ups. Yeah, fuck me. I have to get new ups. Mm. Maybe it was better to actually cool Nicaragua. In general, it wouldn't be so, but now when Africa is scored, maybe. I'm not sure. He failed that, let's realign. Uh, yeah, starting with Zaire. Okay, now South Africa. Okay, and now Angola. Whoa. Alright. Arab Israeli war is the last card I didn't know, sure. Uh, okay, now I can give that to you. I think I will... Uh, sure. Uh, 
Okay, so now I will get either OAS or nuclear saps, and it's probably nuclear saps, and I... Oh, fuck me! Maybe I shouldn't have realigned Zayu now. Maybe that was a mistake, you know? I mean, now I can try Queen of Nigeria and succeed, but that doesn't change anything yet. Alright, that's a decent hand. Uh, it has a bad scoring and some reliable ways to deal with it. That has to be my headline, so I will do that immediately. I have to hurry a little bit. <sighs> Can I give him glass nose? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I will just assume he doesn't have middle east scoring. <laughs> I'm not giving him glass nose. And I'm not even sure if I'm not giving him Glasnost because I can't give him the 2 VPs or because I really need the another ABM to hit Panama after the first one fails. I don't know. But I am sure that giving him Glasnost and giving him the coup is, is not the way to do It's not. <laughs> this is a f an interesting situation where I got Miss Landy and the most annoying thing about... Really? Why? I mean... Why, why would you just give me two points for free in a situation like this? Unless he's sure that he will be able to finish me off with Middle East, but... I'm not sure about that. Uh, what I was saying about the miscellany is that it's interesting, but uh, one possible value of playing it for him is that I can immediately space uh, Deagle, which I would like to do in this situation. Uh, okay, I will start by giving him Ortega. So if I want to break Cuba later during the turn, I can. Of course, let's do that and let's... Let's do that and Zaire. So I'm not sure if going to Zaire is technically better than going to uh, El Salvador, but it's definitely not, not as suspicious. And that's kind of important for me now. Okay, Syria. Syria, sure. Let's see. Whoa, I got a 5. Okay. Um, this is surprising. It's starting to look like I might have a chance here. Which would be absolutely insane. It would be probably the biggest comeback in my life if it works. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to play Prophet. It usually turns out to be a bad idea to try to predict the future the future of the game. Okay, he spaces. He fails! Jesus, that's so good. Uh okay. Oh my god. And I have like 8 minutes. <laughs> we're doing the speedrun here, boys. We're, we're doing the speedrun. We're speedrunning the Twilight Struggle. Okay, that's another point. You probably could. Please fail. You have like... <gasps> that's enough! Huge. Wait, how am I still alive? What's going on? I have no idea what's happening. Okay. 
space. Fuck. Not enough. <laughs> okay. Mm. Three unscored regions, which are all early world regions. Europe, Middle East, Asia. Two are bad for me. One is average now, but it will, it will get better. I just have to capture Canada. So probably my last move will be... I don't know. Like, capturing Canada and breaking Libya, maybe? Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe this is what I have to do. Or I could use Glasnost to cool Libya and leave Soviet shoot down to have it as my possible headline on AR9, uh, on, on turn 9. That's another, another thing worth considering. And the longer I keep Glasnost in my hand, uh, the bigger the chance that he will play with armor. Yeah, I think I have to get rid of it. I, have, I think I have to cool Libya with it. I think that's what I have to do, especially after him taking Bulgaria. I have to cool Libya. Yes, that's enough. I'm still in the game. This is insane. Alright, uh, OPEC is gone. So this is the only reasonable option. Yeah, and I kept it exactly for this reason, so... Let's go for it. Uh, of course, technically in the Pakistani war would be a good option as well, but Leopard is in play and the evil empire is nowhere to be seen, so he may have it. And if he plays it, then, well, I'm not going to complain about having in the Pakistani war for free. Junta. Mm, sure. So he'll probably like go for Venezuela, cool Uruguay or Guatemala, and then capture Venezuela. Or do something like that. And I think my best response for that, honestly, is just space incursion. Because once more... Whoa, he goes for Panama. Okay. I don't know why he chose Panama over Venezuela. Oh, well, whatever. It's not a bad choice. Nigeria is kind of up for grabs. It's it's not overprotected. That's kind of scary. And kitchen debates are like close to not being playable as well. That's annoying. Uh, let's count. Middle East is equal. What's okay, it's still playable, but I have to space first. Yes, I got it. Okay. And he didn't get the war games, so that's another lucky aspect of this game for me, if, if I can call it that. Uh, sure, I have to capture that. But Muslim Rap is gone, so unless he uses salt to pick it up, pick it up again. Egypt is going. Uh, Egypt is going to s stay in my hands. Uh, do I give him the goal or chair? It's most likely the goal. I can fix the goal with ops. I can't fix the chair with ops. Portuguese Empire, sure thing. Yeah. Mm. Let's just overprotect everything. So, 
nothing silly happens in Africa. Kitchen debates for event ASAP. Then probably the goal for Ops, taking Spain and France. Then in the Pakistani war for events. Oh, okay, so never mind. Kitchen debates won't be played for Ops now. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So, in this situation, I am not going to fight for Europe domination yet. I mean, I mean, right now, I don't see a way to get Europe domination, so I will just defend my free battlegrounds and activate kitchen debates once more. I could theoretically keep aims if I fail in the Pakistani war, so I can discard Asia scoring if I draw it. And then I would just give him Che and respond to it somehow. And, well, it doesn't seem to be an absurd idea. I really hope that in the, in the Pakistani war we will succeed. Because in that scenario, there is no need for me to discard Asia, probably. It would also be nice if he played the Evil Empire. Cultural for for Ops once again, but doesn't break Kitchen Debate, so let's play them. Two hours, 21 minutes, 37 seconds. Six minutes and a half for me to complete the game. I have stopped tracking cards at the start of this turn, so hopefully I don't make any silly mistakes as a result of that action. Theoretically, he can still, like, draw CIA and die. <laughs> he can have it in his hand. So that's another way for me to win this game, I guess. Fuck! Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic. That's tragic. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, give me that. Yeah, so now I think I'm giving him time. I think I am. Or, well. Yeah, have it. Okay, that's a failure. That's a success. Middle East defectors, Chernobyl, CIA. <sighs> the fact that I got CIA is disgusting. 
I got Star Wars as well. What kind of Star Wars so far? Is there another way for me to win with Chernobyl? It's probably it's probably not right. If he lets me, uh, oh no, that doesn't work either. Okay, let's go for the for the factors. I think. Okay, don't gunman is gone. Well. Yeah, I, I, will, I will event CIA probably on my first AR and see what's going on this turn. Maybe that will help me make some decisions, but I don't really see the way to a way to, to, to defeat him this game. Unfortunately, not with this hand. He has some options, but they are absolutely not compatible. Chernobyl looked would look promising if I had any way to make use of it. And I don't really see that. Of course, the default good play to make would be to try retaining uh, space advantage and using Star Wars to play Voice of America on AR7 but there are two problems the first one is that I have no certainty that I will retain the space advantage and the second one okay and the second one is that uh, then I would have to do it on AR7 that means I won't be able to play games in that scenario and if I do it on AR6 it's not as good let's see oh shit He has Asia. So if he sco scores Asia, I don't think there is anything to do. Uh, I probably could get African domination. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. He will space surely, so if I want to use Star Wars, I will have to either space or do it early. Maybe I should just use Star Wars early and like do something else with it. Get ABM, maybe. Doesn't really matter. Hmm. Okay, so one thing I can do is that if he spends China to do something, and I suspect he will do that, I can use Star Wars to pick up Voice of America and break his countries in the Middle East and try scoring domination in the Middle East that way. I'm not sure. He would have to like use the China card now and not do anything s anything important with it. Which would pretty much mean that he would have to wait for China card now for me to be able to do that. So that's probably off the table. Uh, he I mean, I can do that anyway and force him to give up on the China card before he... Uh, destroys my plans. By spacing successfully.
Okay, he plays the China card. I will have to roll a 6, right? Okay, that's something. Not enough though. Yeah, I, I think I would have to win one of the previous in the Pakistani wars to be able to compete in this game with the cards I got all along the way. With losing both of them, I don't think I had a good shot at it. I mean, to be fair, I entered Pakistan and he failed his in the Pakistani war as well, but well, that doesn't change much. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything with that, so here you go. So I'm obviously losing how it is now. Do I have to realign once more? Oh, I mean, I guess I can try. No, 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 not that. Three six three six not enough. Why why don't you <laughs> why don't you just discard liberation theology? Oh thanks. Oh. Well, that wasn't even close.
I think it was much closer than I thought it would be uh, earlier in the game, so I guess that's kind of a success. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this wild ride, and I will see you next time.